email us at nhscatseyenews at gmail.com with your story ideas and we'll be sure to feature it on our next broadcast. Be sure to send it to this email and not Mr. Latart for the best chances of seeing your email. See you later, Novi. What's up, Wildcats? Dear Asian Youth, Novi is looking for some Asian-owned student businesses for their upcoming API Heritage Festival. Again, it takes place in First Park on June 2nd, and you can use the QR code to sign up. Hey, Novi, this is Luke, back again to tell you about something very interesting that the Classical Music Interest Group has been up to recently. They made a survey accessible through this QR code right here, where you can send them your favorite classical music songs, and they'll take them and compile them into one big Spotify playlist that you can listen to when you're studying. While I myself may not be the biggest fan of classical music, I've always found that it's much better for focusing while studying than pop or break core or something. So if you're a fan of classical music, definitely submit something to the playlist. And even if you're not, do it anyways. Do it anyways. Do it anyways. Anyways, that's all I have for today. And as always, this is Luke signing off. What's up, Bald Cats? The high school dance company auditions are open right now. If you want to participate, you need to fill out the form prior to attending the meeting in room 152 on May 24th from 3.30 to 5.30. You will also need to bring a signed contract to the audition. Scan the QR code on screen to fill out the form. Hey Wildcats, prom is May 4th and tickets are on sale April 15th through 19th during all lunches, cash or check only. If you're planning on bringing a guest who doesn't go to Novi, make sure you pick up and fill out the guest pass procedure form. You can pick this up in the main office or room 192. Once the form is completed, you can turn it in along with the money and any dietary restriction forms at lunch. These forms are due on April 12th. Remember, if you're in any clubs such as HOSA or Robotics, that you turn in your forms and buy your tickets before you leave for your trips. Have a great day, Wildcats. Hello Wildcats, as you can see from this lower thirds title, my name is Neil. I'm here to remind you to buy tickets to this year's musical, Singing in the Rain. As you can see from my awesome editing skills, on my right is the poster for Singing in the Rain. You can scan the QR code on these posters seen all over the school. Performance dates and times are as follows. April 25th at 5pm and April 26th and 27th at 7 p.m. All three performances will be in the Novi High School Auditorium with Milan Thurman as Don Lockwood, Hannah Jong as Kathy Selden, Ishan Thurman as Cosmo Brown, and Shriya Tangatur as Lena Lamont. We're actually going to make it rain on stage, so be there to witness the amazing spectacle. Singing in the rain. Ticket prices are as follows. $10 for seniors and children under 12. Student tickets are $12 and general admission is $15. Go to novihs.com seatyourself.biz or scan the QR codes on this poster to purchase tickets. Come watch Singing in the Rain. Singing Goodbye. Singing in the rain. Just singing in the rain. What's up, Novi? We're back with another Friday Wildcat Sports Update. All right, first up, we got boys baseball. They took both games on Saturday against Wild Lake Central and then split during the week against Howell. Then softball went 0-5 this week, unfortunately. And then they have a tournament at Brighton tomorrow. Girls lacrosse beat Plymouth and Pioneer, but lost to Salem. The boys, unfortunately, lost to Plymouth, and they have a game tonight against Gabriel Richard. Girls soccer lost against Brighton, and they also have a game tonight. Track and field had a meet against Northville, where they unfortunately lost. And then they have a home meet tomorrow against Athens. That about wraps up this week. Stay tuned next week for more updates about our sports team's Wildcat. Novi, on Wednesday, April 17th, the Business Professionals of America will be holding a Q&A with U of M Ross alumni Donald Jean during fourth hour B and C lunches. Mr. Jean will be sharing his experience working in high level positions at Capital One and other investment firms. Scan the QR code on screen and speak to Mrs. Moss in room 218 for permission slips and more information. What's going on Novi? Welcome back to my news to you. We're gonna be talking about a few things, so let's get right into it. Daredevil Born Again has finally wrapped filming. We are so excited for this. The Daredevil fans that have seen them in the comics, that have seen the Netflix show. I'm very excited for this because the Netflix show is really good. They're gonna keep the same elements from the Netflix show and the Disney Plus. It's gonna be good, it's gonna be great. We should begin a trailer at some point. I'm sure they're putting that together. It's gonna be really cool. The third Dune film is officially in development. It's supposed to be Dune Messiah, based on the books. We'll see if they uh, title it that, which I'm hoping they do because 
You know, it's from the books. They're going off the books. I'm really excited. Dune 1 was pretty solid. Dune 2 was incredible. So I'm sure they're going to do Dune 3 just as well, if not better. A new Matrix movie is in the works, and it is directed by Drew uh, Goodard. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. He has directed Cabin in the Woods. He's directed Daredevil. So he kind of he kind of has some experience in like just popular movies and TV shows that we have seen. So maybe this will be solid. The last one wasn't as good. It didn't really get good reviews. Not many people liked it. So we'll see how they do with this one. I'm impartial to it. I think they should have stopped with like the third one, but that's okay. We're getting more Matrix. I'm excited. I hope you all enjoy the news I have to give to you, and we'll see you later, Nova.